these ballet spaces and these contemporary spaces are often quite segregated from each other. You know, there's yeah. not much of an intertwine there because, you know, there is a certain way of working in the ballet world and there is a certain way of working in the contemporary world. But I think at the end of the day, we're all just dancers that love dancing mm -hmm. and we've found our different things. And I think also what would be interesting about the process too is like coming from two different angles because like how we work in, in the ballet, for example, sometimes is like drill, drill, drill. But I think what will continue to happen in the process, which is really interesting, is that like the two different styles and, and, and schools of, of dance and of thought will kind of influence each other. It's thrilling to watch, you know, the ADT dancers move and so inspiring. And the piece itself calls on internal rhythms a lot and being engaged with each other or reacting to someone in real time, not to a set part of the music or something. Like, uh, it's just so creative. Mm. Like, it's such a whole focus. It's not never just steps. Dan really um, facilitates the space really well, like allows the voices of every individual to kind of rise when needed, or um, he, he allows time and space to kind of marinate in, in, in ideas and what we really have experienced is quite yeah internal and how we kind of show it is yeah of course physical. With Dan I think it's super special because he takes sort of this combination of First Nations sort of storytelling and ancient ways of sharing through dance and all this westernised and modern knowledge of dance as well and sort of combines everything together to create this super honest, grounded, sort of real way of moving. I mean, I don't actually know how much we have taught them, like, but I feel like they have taught us a ton of information and in a, in a range of different ways as well, like just having conversations because it is a wealth of knowledge, especially when you've come from a different kind of school of thought or a different school of like dance, for example. We're consistently learning from each other and, you know, coming from such a different technicality in terms of dance styles, but we also just share this kind of commonness between us that we have this, this, this goal and this goal is to like share what we love, share expression and share um, a way of making social change. What I really like about, say, this identity season is that it could be so easy to just sort of like create a new Australian ballet work and, and maybe bring something else back like for this identity season. But I think that's really special that in this season that we're calling identity, we're starting a new relationship and kind of uh, sharing, telling and informing both of the companies, say, identity to sort of create a new one. The beautiful thing is that we have this relationship with ADT and there's this understanding between all of us now that like their home is our home and our home is their home. It's not just about dancing, like for the, for the people who are in the hum it's not just dancing, it's actually the relationship that we have all built so that will just go on. When I think of the hum, it's something that we all share. And I think in heap, all these Western spaces, the Western way of living, there's so much going on and everything can get lost, you know. There's heaps and heaps and I think when you just strip it back, what is that one thing that can connect us all, this vibration, this heartbeat, mm. this sharing, this connection, like, that's what I think the hum is. <laughs>